Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we explore cutting edge solutions to modern networking challenges. In today's episode, we dive into the exciting world of Starlink and how you can combine it with fiber optics to create a scalable and reliable internet solution, perfect for remote communities. So we are focusing on a real world case study, expanding a Starlink network with fiber to provide internet access to not just one home, but to an entire neighborhood. First off, what is Starlink? Well, if you haven't heard, Starlink is making waves by offering high-speed satellite internet in places where traditional options are limited or non-existent. Using low-Earth orbit satellite, Starlink provides internet speed that can range from 150 to 200 megabit per second, depending on the location. And with more than a million users worldwide, it's no surprise that people are trying to share this bandwidth with neighbors. And that's where today's case study comes in. So here's the challenge. Our client is using the basic Starlink package and getting around 150 to 200 megabit per second. And he wants to extend this service to 50 nearby homes. So the big question is, how many neighbors could he realistically provide 20 megabit per second to with Starlink? So first, let's talk bandwidth. So realistically, with 200 megabit per second, you could support around 7 to 10 neighbors, giving each around 20 megabit per second. But 50, you're going to need a more robust solution. So that's where fiber optic comes into play. Unlike copper cables or wireless solution, Fiber can carry data over long distances at lightning speed with minimal loss, so it's the backbone of modern internet infrastructure. And pairing Starlink with Fiber could make this network scalable and reliable. Alright, let's back to our case. We need to talk about bandwidth allocation. And for 50 residents, you need more to support everyone comfortably. So the solution here is scaling up by adding a second or even a third Starlink dish and using a powerful router like the TP-Link ER605V2 to aggregate the bandwidth from multiple Starlinks. And for future proofing, you must think about how to scale this setup more Starlink dishes and smart bandwidth management, though a router will help, but for a large-scale deployment, fiber distribution is the key. So now let's talk about your two main networking options. First up is the traditional method, using a managed fiber switch. Managed switches allow you to precisely control and distribute bandwidth to each home. Now you'll run fiber optic cables from the switch to each home using media converters to get internet to the end users. But there's another option, one that I do for a large scale deployment, PON, Passive Optical Network. Unlike traditional switching, PON lets you split fiber using a passive splitter, meaning you can connect up to 32 or 64 homes with just one fiber string. So it's cost effective and efficient for a larger networks. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and here's what you need to make this PON system work. Right here we have the three Starlink dishes and the TP-Link router. And down here is our OLT, the optical line terminal. And here we have our 2 times 32 passive splitter. So you can split our fiber string up to 32 users. And right here we have our ONU, or you can call it ONT, for each household. So without saying, let's begin our step-by-step -step setup guide. So now let's combine our three Starlinks into the TP-Link router. Now keep in mind, although we have three Starlinks, it doesn't mean your network speed multiple three times. They only add up your bandwidth. So now let's use the Ethernet cable and connect the WAN port of our TP-Link router. And then combine all the three Starlinks 
and using another Ethernet cable to connect the router directly to our OLT. And our OLT has dual RJ45 port, so it allows you to add more. And then use this fiber optic cable to connect to the PON port. And send all the data to our passive splitter. Now our passive splitter doesn't require any power supply, so it's convenient and super safe. This is a 2-in and 32-out passive splitter. We're going to use this one for demonstration. And we also have 464 splitter. That means it allows you to send data to 64 users. So let's plug in our fiber optic cable. And then using another fiber optic cable to connect to one of our point port here and send the data all the way to the ONU, or you can call it ONT. And now you're getting internet from our Starlink, even miles away. And now let's break down the pros and cons of each solution. Managed fiber switch, the pros include simple setup, precise bandwidth control, more cost-effective for smaller deployment, and the cons are limited scalability and require more switches for bigger setup. And for a PON system, the pros are highly scalable, efficient for a larger neighborhood, and can connect up to 64 users per splitter. And the cons are a slightly expensive initial setup and less flexible in managing individual bandwidth. So whether you're building a small neighborhood network or planning for a larger expansion, combining Starlink with fiber optics can be a game changer. For smaller projects, a managed fiber switch might be the way to go. But if you're thinking long-term and scalability, a PON system offers tremendous benefits. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining us. And before you go, Please don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights and also case studies like this. And as always, drop your questions and comments below. And if you need help planning your network, you can reach out to us for a free tech consultation. And the link are in the description box below. And I'll catch you in our next video.